Hi, my name is Ahmad Al Assad, and in this video, I will go through the authoring and running manual tests using Microsoft Test Manager 2012 Hands On Lab. This video is recorded for HandsOnVisualStudio.com. In this lab, you will learn how to use Microsoft Test Manager 2012 to author a manual test case and take advantage of test parameters. You will then run this test case using the Microsoft Test Runner. While running this test case, you will capture an action recording, which can be used to take advantage of fast forward for manual testing, to quickly rerun test steps or even entire test cases in the future. Finally, you will explore how shared steps can be used to more effectively author common test steps, which can then be reused across multiple test cases. To go through the lab, you will need to download Visual Studio 2012 Virtual Machine provided by Microsoft. This hands-on lab is one of a number of labs that deal with Microsoft Test Manager 2012. The recommended order to complete the labs is as follows. Introduction to Test Planning with Microsoft Test Manager 2012. Introduction to Test Case Management with Microsoft Test Manager 2012. Authoring and running manual tests using Microsoft Test Manager 2012. And Introduction to Platform Testing with Microsoft Test Manager 2012. This lab consists of four exercises, and we will do them in the following order. Authoring a manual test plan, running a manual test plan, analyzing manual test results, and creating shared steps. Exercise number one, authoring a manual test plan. In this exercise, you will learn how to create a manual test plan and populate it with steps. The plan can later be run to confirm the expected behavior of your software. Now let's switch to the virtual machine. Open Microsoft Disk Manager from the Start menu, All Programs, Microsoft Visual Studio 2012, Microsoft Disk Manager. In this lab, we are going to focus on creating a new manual test case and running it. We will focus on other aspects of managing test cases and test plans in another lab. In the left pane, select End-to-End -end Tests and click the New button. In the title box, type confirm that receipt number appears after a successful order. At this point, we are ready to add steps to this manual test. Each step includes an action, which describes the action the tester needs to perform. Optionally, a test can include an expected result, which describes the expected result of a given action. In the Steps panel, we create a step for each of the following actions, only one of which has an expected result. In this lab, we can expedite this step by copying the test steps from a text file provided on the desktop. Copy the steps lines. and then select the first row and paste. Adding a value in the expected result column for a manual test step adds a checkbox next to the step action so that the tester is required to manually validate that the test passed. Note the enter first last email address city country state postal code step. In this step we use the at sign to indicate that there were iteration-specific variables to be used during the manual test process. 
we can define which variables to use by scrolling down to the parameter values section of this form and entering them for each iteration. Use the values provided in the lab document or you can just copy them from the text file. Now save the test case by clicking the save button. And this concludes exercise number one. Exercise number two, running a manual test plan. In this exercise, you will learn how to run the manual test plan we created in the first exercise. Now let's switch to the virtual machine. We still have the Microsoft Test Manager open from the previous exercise. From the top menu, click the test button to enter the test mode. In the left pane, select End to End Tests. Then select the test titled, confirm that receipt number appears after successful order, and click Run with Options. Now in the Run Option dialog, select Full Diagnostics for the test settings, and click Run. At this point, the Microsoft Test Runner is launched and provides the option to record the actions taken by the tester. This is a key feature as it enables fast forwarding for future test runs and records more details for reviewing historical test runs later. Check the Create Action Recording box and click Start Test. Wait until the test runner has completed initialization and then open Internet Explorer. Select the Tailspin Toys link. After the site has loaded, the first step of the test will have been completed. Select the Pass option. It is not a requirement to pass or fail tests other than those that require validation, such as with expected results but it does help with correlating test reactions with steps. Note that when you pass a test, it automatically sets the next step as active. Now click the Model Airplanes button. and select the Pass option since it loaded successfully. Click the North Wind Trade. Pass the step. Click Add to Cart. And pass the step. Click the Checkout button. and pass the step. In the event that your action recording does not go according to plan, you can always reset the record again. Now click on the first variable to copy the value to the clipboard. And then click on the text box and press Ctrl V to paste. This action will bind the variable from the test with the text box in the website. To confirm that, a data binding icon will show next to the variable. Now let's repeat the process for the other variables.
Now you have to select the value from the drop down even if it was already selected. Once all variables are bound, pass the step. Now click the Review Order button. Pass the step. And click Place Order button. And pass the step. Confirm that the order page has a receipt number. Close the browser and confirm this and pass the step. You are now at the end of the first test iteration. Click end iteration and move to next link. In this iteration, we will not create an action recording, as it will override the original one that we just created. And instead, we're going to use the version that we just recorded to run this iteration. Click the Start Test button to start iteration number 2. Now while step 1 is selected, hit the Shift key on your keyboard and click on Click Place Order to highlight step 1 to 8. Now click the play button to automatically run the selected steps. After the test runner finishes running the steps that you selected, it will stop on the confirm order page has receipt number step so that you can manually verify. Pass the step. You can now end the second test iteration. Click the end iteration and move to next link to move to iteration number 3. We'll follow the same steps we did in iteration number 2 and at the end we'll click end iteration. Now click the save and close button to save the test results. Exercise number three, analyzing manual test results. In this exercise, you will learn how to review the results of manual test runs. Let's switch back to the virtual machine. This is the state of the virtual machine when we completed exercise number two. So click on view results. And the test results view, you can in the test result view, you can see more details on test run, including details of the iterations, results, and associated attachments. In the test step details section, click on one of the video links. This will launch a test video replay for the specific time of this step. Now close the video replay. Now collapse the test step details and expand the attachment section if it's not already been expanded. This panel contains various attachments recorded during the test that can help with diagnostics. Select the system information.xml and click open. Click open on the confirmation dialog. 
This file contains details about the system where the test ran. Now close Internet Explorer. You can view other attachments if you wanted to. Now click the Save and Close button. And this concludes exercise number 3. Exercise number 4. Creating Shared Steps. In this exercise, you will learn how to create shared steps. A shared step combines multiple steps that are commonly performed in sequence into a single logical step, which can be shared across tests. If the process defined by the shared steps ever changes in the future, you can update the shared step in one place, and it will be reflected in all tests that reference it. Let's switch back to the virtual machine. Click Open Test Case button. Now click on the Click Model Airplane step to select it. Then click the Shift key and click on Click Add to Cart step. So now we have steps 2 to 4 selected. Right click and click on Create Shared Steps. Now type Add Northwind Trader to Cart in the title field and click OK. Notice that steps 2 to 4 were replaced with the shared step we just created. Select the shared step, right click on it, and select Open Shared Steps. You can now edit the shared steps as needed. Click the Save and Close button to close the shared step and the save and close button on the test case to save the test case. In this video we learn how to create and run tests using the Microsoft Disk Manager 2012. And at the end of this video I would like to thank you for watching.